After doing the last descent into the inner Sanctus Sanctorum and hearing the other tourists puff and gasp, I am too a little bit. This is it. This is the Cardinal's swimming pool. This is where he gets to hang out by himself and swim. And he can look down on all of his people and spit. You're not allowed to wear hats up here, which is cool, it's a temple. But it's amazing how many people need to be told that. Yes, I'm still dressed as a pirate. They recognize my holy garb of the Pastafarian. Moving forward. Pardon me. This is one of the reclining Buddhas I mentioned before. Look how peaceful he looks. And he's got his own cover showing he is very cool. Not sure who the statue of that behind him is. Looks like Buddha with the one hand salute. Not the one they use in America. But this is the inner sanctus sanctorum. It's like Neil Gaiman was saying in his book, American Gods. A lot of times people know that an area is holy. They don't necessarily know why. That's why they keep rebuilding temples or changing or modifying the temples. Or they know a day is holy. Like uh, the Christmas day. That's why we took it away from Mithras, made it into a Christ thing. So, maybe there's just some innate holiness. But I don't think it's to be found in a group of fucking tourists posing for their picture. Who knows, maybe it is. Maybe it's kind of worship. But in our kind of worship is another big tittied woman. This one has a hole next door. Don't even want to speculate on that. Say cheese, people. <laughs> yes. And this is it from a different angle. I'm gonna see if I can find a better perch. But it's actually very cool. And they got balloon rides you can get if you are filthy fucking rich and just feel like going on a balloon. It's a little bit less crowded. That looks cool. Yeah, no, don't worry. I'm looking with my eyes as well as the camera.